Okay, I'm back with another video. Today we have my entire Japan trip that went viral. It's on both screens without further ado. Everything moving. Let's get straight into the video. Japan needs black men. So I've heard. But I'm not black. I'm I'm gold. You know, everybody got their own adjectives, pronouns, and they thems and he she's and transformer deception autobots. You can keep that black and white in a gray area. I'm closer to gold or copper, realistically. I'm 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 a gold man. They white and they black. It's different, but let's continue. I just gotta put that out there. I got to, because I'm not black. This part of the screen is black. You see this? I ain't black. I heard Japan was in desperate need for black men. So me being the smart individual that I am, I went and got myself a ticket. I don't usually do stuff like this. But when the government is asking people to come there, why not? And it's really like the perfect time too, because I was about to go to DR because you know, if you're in a drought and you got zero holes, the best place to go is the DR or Columbia. So instead of going to DR, I figured I would just change my flight and see what Japan's talking about. If y'all want to sit back and wait around, then that's cool. But me, I'm the type of guy, I'm gonna go get it myself. Just like Young Thug said, I just needed the platform. This should also be a warning for y'all females to do a better job trying to keep your man because give him five reasons on why he shouldn't just up and leave and go to Japan. I don't really know what to expect when I get there. I just hope I can be loved and swarm with Japan ladies. I hope I can mate with most of them. I might stay there. I might end up staying there. I just want to see if this is actually true. I'm the risk taker. I'm the big dog. You guys want to sit around and hee hee ha ha ha. Oh my God. No, I'm the one that's going to go get it. I'm going to keep you guys updated. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. So we just touched down in Japan. A few mean stairs, like, what the fuck are you doing here? But it's all good. We're going to get through it real rip. I just woke up, so my sleep schedule is all fucked up right now. But let me tell you guys my experience so far in Japan. After I dropped my bags off at my room and everything, I hopped on the train and I started walking the streets of Tokyo. I'm from Las Vegas, and it looks just like Las Vegas, but in Japanese. I found this fire building, too. I wish I would have took a Fitbit right here. I was really just walking around for like three hours using Google Translate to talk to girls and talk to everybody so I couldn't use my phone that much to record. Look at this beautiful scenery right here. Mwah. Also, there was a bunch of... Look at this beautiful... I hate to break it to you Americans. Treason, treason. I don't give a fuck. I call it down the middle. I'm gonna call a spade a spade. Japan is shitting on... America from so far of a height you would think Yahweh himself is doing it it's, it's better everything they do is better the way they dress the, the clothes you can get there the they, I'm pretty sure they got better quality of females out there I know thoughts and trans auto deception bots are everywhere but you're gonna run into those more than you're gonna run into them there but look at the architecture look it's it's a building I see and I'm inspired. It's not one building here and I'm inspired by. I'm inspired by my ancestors' pyramids and, and things like that, you know, but any European building, I'm not inspired. Your architecture is garbage. Garbito for Spanish. But look at the architecture. Look at the look just look at it. The ambiance. I, I get inspired when I see this. I'm not inspired when I wake up in the United States of America. I can hear them right now. Then, then leave. I'm indigenous and aboriginal everywhere the sun rise. If the sun don't rise, everyone dies. No fruit, no food grow, or nothing. You, you got no energy. You depleted of your chakra reserve. So anywhere you see the sun rise, I'm indigenous and aboriginal to the land. And the sun, UV radiation, which is a mutating wavelength, is only increasing and breaking its own records for here on out through the age of Aquarius. You better have your suntan lotion. Because the sun will reveal who is inorganic to the planet. I'm telling you, it's not me. Trust me, when you melt and you be some chicken and mayonnaise on the ground, <laughs> a collage of that, I'm still going to be doing my thing. So that, that, that tells you I'm native everywhere. Everywhere is my home. Mother Russia, shout out to Vladimir Putin. We must break him. Brush you, brush him. 
because I can hear them already. Then, then leave. You leave. The sun going to make sure you do. Or the sun going to make sure you do. But let's continue. Beautiful scenery right here. Mwah. Also, there was a bunch this of other tourists, so I didn't though. feel weird or left out or anything. Look at this. The architecture is so much better than yours. It's not even close. Man, if I don't move to I, either one, Tokyo, Japan, Shanghai, China, or South Korea, and if not, at least have some property out there so I can move out for months on there. I know somebody or something, because it's not, it's not inspiring waking up here. And when I know what I know what I know, terrible quality of food, standardized, FDA-approved poison, the American diet is the reason you're dying. And ain't nobody figured that out yet. I mean, I got a whole Noah's Ark of reasons. Let's continue, though. But let me tell you guys one thing. The racism is definitely there. I had little kids walking up to me talking about, hey, gang, 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 bro. Gang, gang. They was calling me Pop Smoke. They said, Pop Smoke, nigga, nigga. Bro, I how to put your kids in the trash can, whoever children he's referring to. Another thing, I take a step out the door. The mailman is on the left of me. I ain't worried about him, though. I'm going to do whatever I'm going to do for whatever today. You know? It's nothing but default skins out here. And for those that don't know what a default skin is, scale 1 to 10. Look, visually, aesthetically, are you pleasing? Scale 1 to 10 is a 5, meaning you're not ugly, but you're not cute either. You're just bland. You don't look at them twice, you know? Hold on. Rewind back. I lied. Most people are ugly by default. Default is on your mind and pot. It's their fault. They was bumping uglies out of way a lot. Most people are ugly as hell. I lied. They ain't even default skins. You lucky if you see a default skin. That's if you're horny and you like, okay, I'm giving her attention, or do I really need to get this off? I mean, she don't look bad. I mean, she ain't too cute either, so you... But most are ugly. It's a bunch of females out here with Timu wigs on that look like their father. I'm just not inspired by the Megan Thee Stallion music. N nothing that's going on here. I don't I, I listen to weird... I listen to all kind of music. I'm, I'm, I'm culturally enriched. I'm into all kind of things. So, yeah, I got to leave the U.S., man. They poisoning us. It's chemtrails being dumped on it. Education suck. Transformer Autobots and took over everything. Censorship is, I mean, censorship crazy almost everywhere, though, so. Let's continue. I swear to God, if I wasn't by myself, I would have stuffed those kids in the trash can. Also, the lady boys are definitely real. I'm not going to fall for it because I'm a transformer expert. But if you're not on your P's and Q's and you have a little bit too much to drink, you will fall for it. It's kind of See, and I know that it's thoughts everywhere. It's transformer Autobots everywhere. But you're going to, you got a better chance of running into them here. This the home and mecca of all the trash and degenerate culture. It's, it's all here. Anything goes here for a reason. And I'm going to pick the future mother of my children based off as if I was the son I'm having. I'm taking everything into account. If you got asthma, it's going to fuck up the geno pool. Application burnt. If you short as fuck, my kid, not my son, not going to be short as fuck getting passed in the smash or pass video. He ain't even got no business being there, but still, though, like, I want to give him the best shot at life because I know... Just know I'm taking everything into account. Most people are fucked up. They ain't do they self-work. You born with baggage that you inherited through your bloodline. Epigenetic memory. You conditioned by your environment. Environment. Predictive programming through coercion to get everyone acclimated to the new, to the soon to be new norm. It's so much you battle and you are what you eat. So most people are chemically imbalanced. They're not in their right mind. No wonder they can't think themselves out of poverty or whatever position they're in.
it's just so much going on. I don't know I'm going left field a little bit, but that's how my mind works. And everything still pertains to one another. So I had a point after that. I lost it, though. That's the plot. Let's continue, though. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you pick the future mother of your children based off as if you was the son you have. Because wouldn't you give you the best shot at life? I would give me the best shot at life. I don't care if you got a big ass banana boat, Jewish nose, I ain't fucking with you. I'm not. That will not be in a gene pool at all. Let's continue. <laughs> it's kind of fun to use Google Translate, honestly. And it's like texting, so it's way easier. So I really have time to think about what I'm going to say next. And girls said that they love my accent. I didn't even know I had an accent, bro. This is crazy. After I got bored of walking around, I went to the club for a little bit. And it was some weird-ass music, but it was still lit. I seen some black guys in there, and I was actually talking to them. And they were telling me how, like, black guys are the main people that the girls are looking for. Now, I did score this night after the club, so I'm officially one for one. I've been here one day. I already got a bucket up there. Come on, you see me. I had to get a picture for you guys. I couldn't forget that I'm here for content. I can't be having too much fun. It was great, honestly. Me and her had fun, but it wasn't like I want to start a family type shit. It was more like, oh my God, I see a cute black guy. I want to score. So yes, I'm still on the hunt to breed and make families, but I don't know if they'll take me serious. I guess I got to keep searching. I got to ask around more and I got to talk to the right people. I see a lot of you guys really upset that I'm in Japan right now, saying that I'm gonna boost the crime rate and stuff like that. Bro, I'm not a crash show. I'm a positive person. I'm cool if you get to know me. And why can't I go travel the world? Even if I wasn't doing this to breed families, which I am, of course, I still would like to travel the world. That is pretty much all I did though for my first day. I was super tired. So I wasn't trying to do too much, you feel me? But I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Day number two in Japan. I woke up kind of late, so I knew I had to catch up, so I immediately hopped on Tinder. I told her I came here yesterday, but I'm staying until next Sunday. The tension started building up, and I said I love taking control. She said she loves to be fully controlled, so I said, all right, how about whoever finishes first has to pay for our date that we had set up? All they ever use in Japan is WhatsApp or Telegram, so I immediately went to that. Around 5 p.m., she came to my room, and I already scored. Now, I knew I was going to finish first, but it doesn't matter. It's about the tension and the talking. Most of the times, the buildup is better than the actual thing. Like, you have to give her a reason to want to come over. So that's why I made it a competition. I'm not going to lie. I was free balling inside of her. I didn't wear a helmet or anything. But she was okay with it. So if she wants to keep it, that's up to her. That was my main goal anyways. I wanted to come here and start her family. That was a red flag already. I seen something with my third Timoy Mangekyo shot in gun. She said, but I'm warning you, it's difficult to make me, um. Somebody that knocked the sensations out of her ass, that's all that tell me. And... Let's see what else he got to say about this, because this ain't adding up. That's crazy already. That's crazy already. Or a telegram, so I immediately went to that. Around 5 p.m., she came to my room, and I already scored. Now, I knew I was going to finish first, but it doesn't matter. It's about the tension and the talking. Most of the times, the buildup is better than the actual thing. Like, you have to give her a reason to want to come over. So that's why I made it a competition. I'm not going to lie. I was free balling inside of her. I didn't wear a helmet or anything. But she was okay with it. Uh, said a buildup sometimes is better than the actual thing. Yeah, in most cases it is. Due to whatever texting or very bitch being exchanged back and forth. On top of, we, we tend to make it bigger than what it is in our head. Idealistically, we just make it bigger than what it is. Like, oh, it's... Whether you notice it or not, you make it bigger than what it is. You make your problems bigger than what they are. Um, that's what everything. Like how some people fetishize about things or they idolize uh, some kind of musician or whatever. It's like you, you got this thing in your head. You make it bigger than what it actually really is. And you can hear that from the horse's mouth and they'll tell you like, yo, I'm just like you really. I'm 
normal or whatever. We just make things bigger. And by you having it in your head, making it bigger, still doesn't take away the the vibe or the sensations and the satisfaction you retain from that as well. Let's continue. So if she wants to keep it, that's up to her. That was my main goal anyways. I wanted to come here and start her family. All right, so after I finished that, I hopped back on the train station. And I started walking the streets again, pulling out my Google Translate. I went inside this very popular club and I met this dude named Evan in like the first 10 minutes. He was also from America and he was telling me that he's been staying here for over a month and a half for free, leeching off other women. After he told me that, it's like my third eye really open, like I've really seen a vision and why I was here. He then told me that he knows a better spot. I was kind of in more of a ghetto area, so we hopped on the train and we went to that area. He ended up leaving the club a little bit early because he met somebody and he sent me this. Salute to him, man. He's a star know. player and he's... I don't know what she said, but arigato. This girl. Somebody and he sent me this. But what? One... One thing I like about them too, they they look different. I told you when I walk outside my door, most people are ugly by default. Default is on your mind and pa. They was bumping uglies out of wedlock once more. Most people are ugly as hell. So you lucky if you see a default skin with its which is a five. Scale one to ten is a five. It's average. Like they look different too. They look like they own little unique anime characters and shit. Like that's that's dope. Cause when I'm out here, I just see a bunch of bitches tapping a Team, they team of wigs. That's it. I can appreciate that aesthetic. If you you look unique or you dress different, uh, you just got a different vibe to you. Cause how I'm assessing off of making my future, uh, the future, the future mother of my children, my my son. I'm a name on me Tachi. I'm I'm. I'm attacking it like he's going to be a my part player. Customization. Give him the best attributes possible. If you got asthma, application is access denied. I'm not fucking with it. It's recessive and it will not consist of my future key of genetic composition whatsoever. But I can appreciate that. The aesthetic, you ain't going to see nothing out here in the Americas. I don't see it. And I don't want no Americanized Asian female, Asiatic female at all. If you Americanized, you for America's eyes only. I'm not, no. And I want my kid to know multiple languages. That's shitty as hell. That's a handicap only knowing one language from the Europeans. Let's continue though. Because this video must to be about them, but I know I'm, I'm that's how my mind works. I'm speaking on it. Salute to him, man. He's a star player, and he's still putting up numbers in yeah, overtime. Salute to Evan, man. He said, fuck it. Don't sub me out, coach. I need to get my stats up. I was still at the club, and I made the dumbest mistake ever. I put my buffs on in the club. Mind you, this wasn't Tokyo. This was downtown. So, like, in Cali terms, this was not in L.A. where all the tourists be. This is Compton in the gutter. The I'm not going to lie. They were dancing. You probably can't see him right now. But as soon as I put them on, the whole energy in the entire club shifted. More females started coming up to me. They told me to come to the back. I was using my Google Translator. Hold on real quick. I'm so sorry. I just can't help to tell you guys that I really put that shit on. It don't matter where I'm going to. I'm going to get fly. But yeah, so the girls were... Serious note. I'm, I'm trying to figure... When is Asiatic females going to receive their update? Their patch notes? Because everybody else then got updated. You, you, you got the... You got the you got the ice queens the 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 you got the Caucasian females the ice queens you got you got them a lot of them is built like a a black female like they got a body like a they receive their updates when the Asiatic female gonna receive their update I know when they receive it they're gonna be op there they are if they get that too like they got the body too like that it's over with if they got a body like a Nelly Furtado or something like that. Uh, it's it's GGS. It was a good run, cause everybody else is receiving updates. When they gonna receive their update?
Let's continue, though. They were, like, more on me. And the guys, it was, like, these four Japan street thugs. They were just me mugging me the whole entire time. Now, they eventually left after, like, 30 minutes, so I thought they weren't tripping. But after I went home with my girl, bro, they was outside waiting for me. They started speaking Japan shit, and I think she was telling them to stop. She was about to cry telling them no. I could not. Ah, uh, hell nah. Some Japan street thugs was mean mugging you, then your power level too low. Because if I was in that bitch, they would have... Shit would have started clicking a Vegeta meter. It's over level 9,000. My... That's by default. That ain't even when I turn it up. You ain't seen that yet. I wouldn't have had these problems. And if I miraculously had these problems, I'm going outside squabbling like Steve Fox ASAP. Me and I can switch it up to IP, man. I got some Liu Kang attributes and everything. I kick with my hands behind my back. It's swaggy like that. If I beat somebody up, I'm going to do it in style. I don't, I don't know. Anything I do, I do it. With, I don't care if I'm playing basketball. I just can't run to the left. I got to do some and one moves. It's just I'm extra. His power level too low because that's crazy. I don't care if it's three against one. Mano y mano, el boyo. Like, I'm... Let's continue, man. I understand a word that they were saying, but let's just say I sprinted home. I did not take any risk. I was running in these dark neighborhoods. It was super scary. And I wasn't tripping if I didn't leave nobody because I did already score earlier in the day. But yes, the racism and envy is really starting to show. <laughs> Stay tuned for day number three. Day number three in Japan. Immediately off the wake up, I started farming on Hinge. I was fucking with Tinder, but I couldn't tell if some profiles were fake or not. You funny as shit, dude. Whoever you is, I caught that. He said he, he was farming on Hinge. You used the word farming? Like like from Minecraft when you, you farming your materials? And y'all think y'all about to draft somebody, America? You ain't drafting shit. We got terms from Fortnite and shit we using that's popping off in the... You ain't... <laughs> you ain't... Niggas is not getting on the battlefield for, for a white man's war. It's over with. But let's continue. I met this girl that was half Japanese, half Latino, and she really spoke three different languages. She's from America, but she stays in Japan by herself. So that's I said, you better teach me Spanish. So I can talk dirty to you in two different languages. Lots she said, you're a baby. I'm almost 26. So I said, make me grow up then. Show me what adults do. She stayed in the city that was not too far from my hotel. So I said, all right, what day am I coming over? I'll give you home. Uh, this young nigga, he you know how to talk to the blooper. Yo, that. Yeah. Pardon me. I was tapping into the Akashic Records. He definitely using a urban chat GPT to flip it in, flip it back. The this young nigga know what he's saying. They got a urban chat GPT. I don't know about. Home court advantage. At first she was hesitant, but I got her phone number and I FaceTimed her. Phone number and I FaceTimed her. What day am I coming? I'll give you home court advantage. <laughs> Need I say more? These the niggas you think you about to send the war? It's not happening, Captain. It's not. You got 2K terminology blent in with, with real life. <laughs> over i'll give you home court advantage at first she was hesitant but i got her phone number and i facetimed her and i just slowly broke her down and convinced her i snuck in a quick picture right before it tip off pay attention to the handcuffs on the bed i'm definitely not a baby anymore after what she did to me i feel like a whole new man after that i had her take me back to my room i'm paying 1900 for two weeks it's kind of expensive but it does come with free breakfast 
and I think it's $300,000 in yen. Here is why I met this black girl named Jada walking the streets of Shibuya. She was gorgeous, so I had to approach her. She was a foreign exchange student. This is crazy. Being a black female, right? Yeah, I identify as black. I'm, I'm gold. I'm different. But black and to be built like this is ridiculous. It's, it's, it's like your, your update got uninstalled. It got patched. That's crazy. You built like one of them over there. Like you ain't get your updates, which you clearly didn't get. What do you call a black female with no ass? Somebody let me know what you call it. You wouldn't get a second of my time if you 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 gotta have that because you you just you, you you have to. The Ice Queens got that update. They they got that player build, so you have to have it. It don't make sense. You build like that, you can't get my attention at all. I don't care what you doing. Let's continue. She was actually from Chicago. I had to sneak these pictures because I didn't want her to know anything about my journey. But this just shows me that God has a sense of humor because me coming to Japan was like my diss track towards black women. And then he hands me the most perfect black woman I can ask for while I'm in Japan. We eventually left to get something to eat. And let me just Shibuya. tell you, I do put that shit on every single time. She took me back to change and she changed at her dorm. Right here though, we went to this small lake in Shibuya. I really hope this doesn't blow up too much because I don't know how she's going to react if she sees this video. I had to jump in the water. I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. It was just too tempting. She looked lit, though. I went back home to go shower real right quick, and me and Jada went out again to go eat. And let's just say I put that shit on again. It's getting out of hand now. This pretty much sums up day number three. Me and Jada went back home to our spots. We didn't do anything. And I wasn't tripping because my stuff was kind of feeling funny. I don't know if it was an ingrown hair or a razor bump, but I'm going to wait it out a few days. Also, I hear a lot of you guys saying if I get married. An ingrown hair or a razor bump. You had a gut feeling, your first brain, and you ignored it. And it, and it definitely has something to do with the, the first girl. That said, it's difficult to make me, um, that, that's so, flag on the plate, fuck a red flag, I see that, I see that, I'm blocking you, cause that's crazy, why would you say that, and you said it so it's true, then why is it true, who, who didn't knock the sensations out your ass, I know it wasn't no toy, I know, I know tourists coming through all the time and you ain't the first buddy and you ain't the last so she didn't gave this man a clap on let's continue here to a girl in Japan I can get paid to live here if me and Jada do not work out I'm probably just gonna do that I'll if I can get paid to live in Japan I'm doing it trust me them, them be a bill that inspire me. It ain't not one building out here that inspire me. When I see the pyramids, I'm inspired. You know, my ancestors they put in work. They they were they were different. But yeah, if I can, yeah, if they paying, I'll, I'll I'll stay out here for sure. Let's continue. Also, if you're stationed in Japan and you're in the military, we should link up and I should borrow your military outfit because I heard Japan girls go crazy for a black man in the military. But yeah, stay tuned for day number four day number four in japan so off the rip i immediately woke up to some bullshit this is the same one from day two the one i met on tinder and the one i was free ball i ain't know it, it was it was getting exciting while i was talking of uh we had 30 minutes basically i'm gonna wrap it up here i guess you let me know if you want me to finish the rest out uh, but that's it for this video this nigga crazy. Don't be like him. If you wear a helmet and some knee pads, fuck what he talking about. But shit, why you can't go experience an experiment? It's worth the experience, worth the money. But this young nigga crazy though.
you definitely using an urban chat gpt or something we don't i don't that's it for this video don't forget to like the video if you like the video comment share subscribe turn on post notifications deal me the link via x formerly known as twitter let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about follow me on twitch kick and rumble before we start rumbling i kick your ass and you end up twitching I'll see y'all in the next video, man. I'm out.